Hi, this is Eric here, and in this tutorial we're going to be going through how to send invoices, statements, quotes by email. So, the first thing is that in here we've got footer text for emails. Now, this is like, this is sometimes called your email signature. So, basically, it's the footer that gets sent to all emails that come out of the cash book and there's some examples in help some people most people would probably just do that part there but you might want to have the whole thing so i'll just plug that in and i'll plug it into all of them so now whenever you send an email it sends out all this contact information and legal information if you want okay then the second thing is down here we've got default PDF text so when you send a PDF then it has the body of the email for sending that PDF and so for example if we send an invoice PDF then the subject will say Hilton renovations invoice and the body of the email will send that and then it'll attach the PDF as an invoice. Now you can add inv hash anywhere either there or there and then it'll give you the invoice number so if I go inv hash then over there when they get the email will say Hilton renovations invoice inv and then the invoice number so that's just an option for if you want to add it in. Okay, and just as a matter of interest, just to clarify, these items here are all on the PDF, so they're all part of the invoice. Footer text for emails comes in the body of the email, and this is also in the body of the email. So just to clarify the difference between these. Okay, next we need to go to the email setup. And this lets you connect with your email provider, whoever it is, so that you can send emails through your email provider. So I'll plug in our test email address. And when I hit tab you'll see that it's filled this in now this box here means whenever you send an email to your customer it sends a copy to you so you know that it's been sent and enable read receipts that is a method for telling whether your your customer has received the email now in the early days it meant that it would just be sent back to you automatically but these days people can choose whether they send back a message to say that you've received the email or not so it's not as useful today as it used to be 10 years ago because people can effectively turn this off and the next one is it fills in the SMTP server by default and sometimes you can click detect if it doesn't know who this email provider is and next we also need to check your settings and you need to put in your password and that's basically it if you stuck uh, then you can click on the question mark and then it'll give you information for various providers like Gmail over there or G Suite or Microsoft Office or AOL or Yahoo basically tells you how to set it up for the different providers okay so we're all set to go so now we're gonna send a actual invoice and you'll see that I've got 
this is one of our support email boxes so I've put in a email address there but you can also put email addresses for other people down there uh, for individuals so if you need more than one email address just put them down the bottom and now I'm gonna send it and you'll see it's come up with uh, two email addresses I'll leave that unticked and first I'll just send it as an email so the invoice will actually be in the body of the email and there it's sending and there it's sent and now just to show you the alternative way I'm going to send it as a PDF and I'm happy with all the text you can add more attachments down the bottom if you want to add more attachments and you can also preview the attachments if you want so there it is close it again then it send there you go so that email is now sent okay next I'm going to go through some issues that you can have with Gmail so with Gmail it's really important so this is my Gmail box or the test Gmail box and if I click on your little icon up there it might have your little profile image or just your first letter and then manage your Google accounts and then click security now with Google it's important that two-step verification is turned off and it's also important that less secure apps is turned on so just as an experiment I'm going to turn this off just so you can see what happens so now it's turned off and I'm going to try sending an email again and it says bad login or password so if it comes up with that then it's gives you a little message box two-step verification has to be turned off less secure apps has to be turned on and your login details have to be correct so that's probably the most common issue that you might have and it's just giving the web page with all the setup details so anyway that's emailing invoices and statements and quotes so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you in the next tutorial see ya bye